Of all the holidays we celebrate throughout the year, none is associated more closely with wine than Valentine's Day. It is fast approaching and with us here on 207, Maya Gosen from Sip Wine Education, our wine expert, to give us some suggestions on what we should be drinking on the 14th. Thanks for coming in. Good to have you here. My pleasure. So All right, you got five selections for us? I have a range for everything from romantic night, if you've got, if you're home with the kids, if you're home by yourself, if you're going out with the girls, <laughs> I've got you covered It sounds like you do. I have this covered. <laughs> All right, let's start down on the end. What have you got for us here? I have the Massotina um, Cuvée Rosé. This is an extra yeah. dry, which is actually a little bit sweeter than Brut style. So mm -hmm. it's not sweet, but a little bit in there. It's softer, elegant, um, a lot of red fruit notes in this. This is sort of my like, you, this goes with every occasion. Right. Um, it goes with a beautiful dinner. It goes with sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Um, I would have this with a range of foods, oysters, um, ahi tuna, fried mozzarella. I saw a beautiful recipe for asparagus frittatas, I think would be really right. good with this. It's just easy drinking, crisp, and, and just I delicious. Say, a wine like this and oysters on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, that certainly works for me. Oh, I'm right, throwing some roses. Oh. Oh. All right, number two on the <laughs> recommendation list. The Valtea um, Albarino, super yeah. fun to say. It's from Rias Baixas in Galicia, Spain, Northwestern. Um, Albarinos are often associated with summertime wines, but mm -hmm. this has a lot more structure to it. It's always fresh and a little zippy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of minerality and citrus notes in this. A lot of, uh, it's a maritime climate, so there might be a little salinity sometimes, which is why this pairs so beautifully. Oysters, 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 but also halibut, sea bass, and as you said, it's, it's, a, it's got a little more structure, so it'll hold up better with, a little bit more heft to with it. some of those foods and it works better in the colder weather. Mm -hmm. That's Shrimp a really ceviche. nice mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. Our white knight in shining armor here. <laughs> <laughs> All the bottles it, are it beautiful today, called I have to say. White knight. It is white knight. There's a little red heart there. Um, this is a Viognier, typically associated with Rhone wines, but noted for its sort of aromatic and lush characteristics. Mm -hmm. Usually apricot, peach, a little bit of honeysuckle in there. I do often recommend this with a spicy food, like maybe Thai, but also if you were doing a pork or a chicken with an apricot glaze, this would be a beautiful pairing. I really love Viognier's. I They're like these suggestions very... because you, you're mentioning all the foods that go well with them, and that's great because on Valentine's Day, we, we, we like to celebrate. We like to do yes. special things that you don't do other, other nights, exactly. and so it's nice to have a good wine and good food. I mean, that's what it's all about. And this is lush and exotic. All right, that's turning it. to the reds. <laughs> The Planeta is the uh, winemaker here, and Cherisuelo di Vittoria, that's fun to say, um, is the DOCG. So, how uh, you would reference a wine as a Chianti or a Barolo. Uh, this is a Cherisuelo di Vittoria, is in Sicily. Um, and the family's had this estate since the 1600s, although they haven't been making wine that long. Uh, Cherisuelo, it means cherry like. So, the grape in there that gives it the cherry essence, that component, is uh, Frappato, and the other grape is Nero de Avila. So, there's two sort of battling grapes in there. One gives it the fruitiness, one gives it a little more structure. Um, this, although you compare this with red meats and nice cheeses, I would certainly suggest this with a rustic pizza. I really these, like it with the that. The Sicilian pizzazz. wines are, are really starting to move up in the wine world, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Definitely seeing a lot more coming these days. Yeah, I would keep an eye out for that. All right. For that market. Then we have a wine I believe that you've sampled in the past, the, the Terras <laughs> well, from is, the Chateau Pesky. This is a, Pesky. a really weird coincidence. I, I, I don't visit wineries in France, believe me. I've been to two so in my life, but it just so happens <laughs> this is one of the two that I've been to. <laughs> so this is a beautiful wine, as you hopefully agree. Um, it's a blend, it's a Rhone. It's a blend of Grenache and Syrah. And I usually describe Syrah and Grenache as a sort of, again, two personalities. Mm -hmm. Grenache is the playful, uh, the red fruit, and, and Syrah tends to be more brooding and dark fruit and a little peppery. And they balance each other out, making this a structured, complex wine. That's a lovely wine and and I'm not saying that just because I really like visited the, it. and that's nice with I think comfort foods après ski stews um, pot roasts big meats things like that and one more and you chose this to a large degree for aesthetic reasons and I don't blame you one bit it's Maya. beautiful I don't usually go by packaging the wine I have had this wine it is fantastic it's a field blend it's from uh, Veneto which is of course home to Verona Romeo and Juliet yep. the Amore this is you know a beautiful blend it's easy drinking I would certainly Although you could put this with meats and cheeses, chocolate, 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 and amore. Look at that, and the beautiful heart on the label there. All so. right. We got it all covered from oysters to chocolate wines for all of them. The full list is, of course, on our website, as well as more information about sip wine education. Maya, thank you so much. My pleasure. Enjoy your Valentine's Day, and stay with us. We're going to be back right after this.